What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Tetrix back to another video and today we're looking at a brand new COVID Tech 11 in 1 hub. Here we first things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit the notification bell so you're notified of next videos to come. Up tips and tricks and unboxing just like this one. Check out merch below at 113.ca. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below as well. So let's go ahead and check this out. So this is by Covitech and today we're going to test it out if it's any good or not. This is the best pair for our MacBook M1s. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here we go. I'm pretty excited for this one actually because of the how many, how many inputs how many holes it has basically we're going to test this out and see if all the inputs actually works all together all at the same time on our macbook m1 if one of them doesn't work when others are on that can be a problem so all of them should be able to work on our macbook m1 then we can say that this is a great product so let's go ahead and look at this. So first thing we see is the literatures right here, right there, and then the actual product. Pretty simple actually, pretty simple unboxing. There's nothing more in there. Let's put that on the side. There you go. So pretty hefty device right here. I like how they have that a little clip right there where you can take out as well. There you go. Pretty good and put it like that. As you can see there, you can use this as a stand for your MacBook M1. So it's lifted off from the back, as you can see there, just like that. It's actually a really good design. I like that. It's pretty good. Now you can put this on your MacBook just like that on the side. There you go. Then you're good to go. So what do you guys think of this design? Comment below. Now let's test out the inputs. Here we go. So the first thing we need to test out is the power adapter. Hopefully this one charges. There you go. So far so good. It's already charging. It made that noise. That's pretty good. So the next thing we need to do is test out the USB drive by putting that right there. It popped up up there. So that's good. Good sign so far. The next thing we need to do is use the USB, USB slots there by attaching our phone. There you go. Let's plug our phone in. Pretty good right there. It's charging. As you guys can see up there. Now the next thing we need to add is the SD card. Let's see if that's going to work. There you go. It popped up up there. Beautiful. Now, of course, without, there's another slot as well here for micro SD cards right there. Let's see if that'll pop up on our MacBook as well. There you go. It took a second try to put in the untitled one right there, which is our micro SD card. Pretty good. Now let's go ahead and test out the uh, drives that we have here. Basically, all of them you'll be able to uh, transfer files files to each other. I should be able to, right? Um, like for example, from untitled one to Lumix to IV three hundred, you'll be able to uh, transfer files so to with each other. Uh, this is very useful for creators out there who has a lot of footages that you want to add to your external hard drive or maybe your hard drive or maybe your SSD as well. You'll be able to use it with this. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So as you can see there, uh, we can simultaneously uh, drag and drop files from each other. I'm doing it all at the same time and the MacBook M1 is able to do it and the hub is doing well as well. Uh, you'll be able to see all your files and drag and drop it to wherever you want. So you can have, you know, you can multitask, you can uh, add files to what, wherever you want and you'll be able to do it simultaneously with no, without any lag. So that's pretty good. Now we're going to attach our 
another phone on here to charge. There you go. See if our Android phone is charging. There you go. It starts to charge. That's good. Let's put that here on the side. There you go. Here as well, you'll have a headphone jack. Let's go ahead and test that out as well. There you go. We have our headphones right here. Let's attach that right there. So as you could see here, we hooked up one of our USB to our Panasonic G9. And as you could see up there, it's charging it. Red light right there. Now we're going to hook up our MacBook M1 to an external monitor via HDMI. So as you could see there, we have it hooked up in a via HDMI. And that was, that's our monitor right there. External monitor. Prove it to you guys right there. Find there up there. 8.33 p.m. Same as that one. It's pretty good. So as you can see up here with the BenQ, you will have a rotation. You can change that right there. You can have it scaled up to 1080p, which this um, monitor could do. And then this can go to 60 hertz. There you go. Now, of course, you can use a VGA to connect your monitors if you have an older monitor. And then the last thing that we need to hook up is the Ethernet cable, which will just go into that. There you go. Now let's check if it works. USB connected right there. Ethernet LAN, pretty good. It's also the Wi-Fi right there, so you can see the difference. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. As you could see, this COVID Tech 11-in-1 hub works very well. Every input works very well. And I like how you can simultaneously use each one without any problems. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. So go ahead and check that out. If I was able to help you, make sure to hit that subscribe button below as well. Hit that notification bell so you're notified of the next videos to come. Make sure to... Check out my merch below at 130.ca. Hit that like button as well so we can help out the channel. Be seen by other users. Hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace. <music>